Y'all, the most embarrassing thing just happened to me just now. Not really the most embarrassing because my life is like 50 shades of weird. So I'm driving to go get my hair cut. And I noticed that in the lane on the other side of the road, there's this truck that broke down, okay? And the two men driving the truck are trying to get it off the road by pushing it. So being the kind, gentle soul that I am, I, I got out to help. I pull over and I walk over to where they're <laughs> pushing the truck. <laughs> I'm five foot six, <laughs> maybe a hundred pounds. I don't know. I, I walk up to the truck and to the two guys and I'm like, y'all need help? I didn't see them giggle, but I'm pretty sure they did. Normally when another human being comes up and asks if you need help, you don't give them one of these. They check me out, <laughs> okay? <laughs> so now without even realizing it, I've put them in an awkward situation, okay? <laughs> I don't realize I'm in an awkward situation yet. I'm still thinking I'm helping. <laughs> These guys are big, okay? They're tall guys, maybe six foot five, six, six. So they see me, a fourth grader with a beard, walk up to them asking if they need help pushing a truck. This wasn't a newer truck either. No, this was one of those really heavy duty ones like from the 60s, where like it's made from rocks from the moon. So one of the guys, <laughs> so one of the guys was like, why don't you steer the truck? cool. I go up there. This truck is huge, okay? It's jacked up off the floor. I'm not, okay? I'm very, very much very close to the ground. <laughs> I can't reach the steering wheel. <laughs> I look like I look like when a two-year-old is holding their, their dad's finger and they're walking together. I'm holding on to the steering wheel like this. <laughs> we can only make abrupt left turns because I can't push it to the right. After about a hilarious three seconds of me trying to grab the steering wheel, he's like, why don't you come back here and push the truck and I'll steer. So I get behind the truck, okay, with the other guy who's six foot six, okay, he's a tree. I'm a bonsai tree. The guy grabbing the steering wheel realizes I'm a bonsai tree, <laughs> realizes that I ain't gonna do much to this truck. They don't know my power, okay, they have yet to witness my power. They're just judging by my size, which was pretty accurate because I couldn't budge that truck at all. If you're short, there's a couple ways of looking at it, okay? You have the option of seeing the glass is half empty or seeing it is half full, okay? Or seeing it on the top shelf, realizing you can't reach it and then just drinking out of the faucet, okay? What am I talking about? <laughs> so the guy grabbing the steering wheel gives me the most we're not interested line I've ever heard in my life, okay? He said to me, oh, you know what? We got friends coming. I appreciate it though, okay? That's when I knew <laughs> that I was in an awkward situation. <laughs> so he tells me his friends are coming to help, okay? So I'm not gonna push the subject. I'm also not gonna push the truck, obviously, okay? But I'm not gonna push the subject. I'm not gonna say, no, 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 let me stay, let me help. No, I'm gonna walk back to my car. And if you don't think that's the most embarrassing walk of shame you've ever seen. <laughs> so to Rick and Carl, uh, I'm assuming that's their names. I don't know, I wasn't there long enough to introduce myself. 